We've got nothing's impossible and Pastor Daniel. Yes. The impossible is becoming possible. How are you, Pastor Daniel? In the faith, Bishop. Yes, indeed, the impossible is becoming possible. We are seeing so many yes. results. So Doors many, are isn't? being opened. <laughs> Miracles are happening, Bishop. See, God is making the impossible possible when it comes to solving problems yes. and when it comes to achieving results that seemed impossible yes. to be achieved. And I'm talking about our triplets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the buildings that now are being prepared to become the UCKGs, yes. the new spiritual maternities. It's true, Bishop. How many people are going to be born of God there, will be healed, delivered, will experience God, salvation, and everything that is written here. Yeah, and these three achievements yes. from the history, from the time that it's taken, and the challenges that were in front of us. To, you know, so many. So many, Bishop, that we could have humanly considered them impossible. That's right. That it wasn't going to happen. But we are seeing them, you know, unfolding. Everything's unfolding. And we are sure, Bishop, that the same thing is, is, is going to happen in people's lives. Yeah. You know, things that they had achievements that they've been wanting to conquer for years. That's right. God is telling them to persevere. He's telling them to believe exactly. in the impossible. Have a look on the properties there. Soon we're going to have the grand openings. We are now on this phase, the refurbishment phase. Of course, we have to prepare these buildings to receive the people, but it's going to happen. In Glasgow, we started the work, and we're going to start soon in Woolwich and in Liverpool as well. And we are counting on those who have seen results, Pastor Dan, in their lives. Yes. Those who are blessed, and now they're going to bless the work of God. They will sponsor this work. So God may, through them, cause a positive impact in many, many lives. Yes, Bishop. And we know that this is indeed what God wants to do and will do You in can the show life. the properties there. Start showing yes. there as Pastor Dennis is talking here. Yes, he, he's going to do in the lives of so many people, those who are faithful, those who believe. Because if he has opened these doors and, yes, refurbishment, you know, many things have to be done in order to receive all the souls that are going to be saved and people yes. that are going to be changed That's is it. because he will provide, Bishop, yes. indeed, condition. He's going to provide also, you know, open doors, prosperity to be able to take That's care of right. his work. Yes, as you can see there, we are showing the UCKG Woolwich, as you can see there. And now you can see Liverpool. Soon we're going to have there our UCKG at the heart of Liverpool, Pastor Daniel. Yes. And you can see now the UCKG Glasgow. Very soon, we're going to have all the grand openings there. Yes. And this Sunday, you're going to know how you can be part of this project, the refurbishment project that we're going to take on board now, Pastor Daniel, yes. for all this Three months of 2020, and I'm sure all those who are going to be sponsoring the works, God will bless them greatly like never before. Because imagine God seeing people investing on the work, not just any work, His work that will rescue hundreds, thousands of souls. Imagine how God is going to provide to those who are providing to His work. Definitely, Bishop. We see that it's an honor to yeah. be part of you know this this project because it's not just to take care of a building. It's not just to take care of the physical That's church. Right. What, what's in connection to all of this is by you sponsoring, by you helping, by one being part of you know this refurbishment project. Mm -hmm. It's thinking about the souls, thinking about the lives that will be changed yeah. while you know while helping, while contributing. It's going to contribute to the salvation of so many people. And what we want to do, Pastor Daniel. The altars of these buildings, inside of the altar, we're going to put the names of those who are now becoming the pillar of the work. Yes. The names of the sponsors, the names of those who are right now deciding to invest in the work of God will stay there inside of the altar. So every single day, their lives are going to be presented on the altar there. Hmm. Imagine how powerful. Yes, Bishop. We My see, name is going to be there. My name is going to be there. <laughs> and you know, it, it's it, people, they get excited when they have their names written on a building, yeah. on a bench somewhere. Or, or, on you the know, street, On the street. It? And imagine our name being there in the altar, you know, yeah. where every daily 
the prayers will be made. People, you know, can present their lives there on the altar. Our names will be there. Those who sponsor, those who are yes. part of this project. So our names will be there until Jesus comes back. That's <laughs> right. So we're going to be talking more about the works there, showing you, you know, the costs and everything. And I'm sure, I'm sure we are not going to lack people to help us, Pastor Daniel. And by the way, may God bless you all who have been supporting or actually sponsoring this work, making this work a great, a great bless. You can be sure that God will honor you much more than what you are expecting. We're going to show you now a testimony. Yes, of somebody who overcame depression, Pastor Daniel. Yes. People say that depression is an an invincible enemy. Yes. But we are here to show that yes, it's possible for you to defeat this enemy. Many people have been seeing results. What seemed impossible for them is becoming possible. And we're gonna show this testimony. And I'm sure all of you who believe you will become the next testimony. Come on, let's invite more people to join us to watch this testimony. And in a few moments, we're going to be seeking the presence of God together as we do every Wednesday. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. Before I came to the church, uh, my life was depressed. I was very depressed suicidal and had a lot of low self-esteem. My lowest point was when I was 18 and I had a, a bad break in a relationship and that's when I tried to commit suicide. At that moment I felt like there was, I mean, there was no way out that there wasn't even point of living because I tried everything. Every night I would go to bed and, and cry myself to sleep. Even though I had around me, I had family members, I had everyone around me. This situation for me, it was impossible because I tried everything. I mean, I tried to talk to a therapist and it did not work. I went to the doctors and they'd give me pills for anxiety that did not work. So it's, I thought that there was no way out because I tried everything. I tried um, maybe drinking, going clubbing, going out and do all sorts of things, having friends, uh, getting into relationships. But still, I had that emptiness inside of me. The day that put an end on this situation was the day that put my foot in the UCKG Help Centre. It's amazing, you wouldn't know how I believe. I learned how to heal myself but I had an inner healing inside of me through the meetings I was I was able to overcome my emotions I was able to overcome my depression I was able to overcome my suicidal thoughts so it changed me totally Simone today is happy Simone today has a, a peace inside of me I remember that even to sleep I couldn't sleep now I sleep peacefully I can go through issue situations in my life but I don't feel bad about it I don't feel down I don't feel depressed I am able to overcome to have control of my emotions everything that I learned I put into practice was me giving myself and just I mean like I said I had no I looked at everything I had no way out so by putting everything to practice I was able to overcome all that situation so my impossible became possible Possible. Today I'm confident, I'm happy, I got peace inside of me. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. Amazing, and your impossible can become possible. This Sunday, Pastor Daniel, the third one. Yes. The third and not the last. I'm going to Definitely say the not. third and the strongest. That's right. That's right. God has <laughs> saved the best for last. Yes. 27th, this coming Sunday will be the third Sunday of the impossible. Get ready because God will make the impossible possible in your life. If you have not yet presented on the altar the impossibles that you are facing in your life, pass by any UCKG tomorrow, pick up your envelope there for you to write down your impossible, prepare your offering of faith to show God that you believe in what is written and get ready to be one more testimony being played here and everywhere in our churches as well. People who don't believe, Pastor Daniel, will see through the testimonies that God is real. Look That's how right. powerful. That's right, Bishop. I mean, we see her testimony. Yeah. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't have peace. She couldn't control her emotions. Yeah. And today she sleeps well. That's she's right. She's happy. Things that yeah. she could never do before because she lived a life of depression. And those who've been <laughs> depressed, they know exactly how that feels. Oh, yeah, and I do. I do. I know how it is. Wow. It, yes, Bishop. And you can see how, yeah. how amazing for her to say with her own words that her reality today is a different one. Yes. Today she's healed. She's free. And in Jesus' name, you will also see the impossible become impossible. Have a look on the slide there. This coming Sunday the third Sunday of the impossible. 
in all the UCKGs across the United Kingdom and in the world, especially 10 a.m. in the morning. Join us. Don't forget to bring your water. We're going to be putting a drop of the water we blessed on the mount. Please prepare the video there. We're going to be playing in a moment. We blessed the water. We prayed for people. Actually, this whole week we are going to the mount, the place where the fire came down. 2,000 years ago. Actually, more than that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> More than 2,000, yes, yes, yes. But that was the place, it was on a mount that the signature of God became visible and we are going to a mount to determine that the signature of God will become visible in the lives of those who believe today. Yes, if you are one of them, be sure that God is going to make this happen in your life. So as I said, this coming Sunday, 10 a.m., bring your water, arrive before 10 because from 9.30, to 10 in the morning, we're going to be putting the drop of water that was blessed on the mountain. Let's use our faith. Come on. Let's show God that we believe in his word and he will make the impossible possible. Let's watch together now the video that we recorded there this week. And as I said, every day, groups of pastors are going to the mount to present the lives of all those who are in this purpose with us, the three Sundays of the impossible. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. Hello everyone, so here we are at the top of the mount. As we said before, it was on a mount where the fire of God came down and the impossible became possible. And here we are to determine that the impossible will become possible in your life. Yes, with God all things are possible. Now we're going to determine here that you are going to give your testimony, no matter your situation. Believe, trust God, because He is the one who will make the miracle happen in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present the lives of these people here now, and we determine that your signature will be seen in their lives. Deliver them, heal them, restore families and lives. I know that with you all things are possible, and that's why we are here, to determine that the signature that was visible on a mount, the impossible, will become will be seen in the lives of these people. Honor their faith, my Lord. Bless them abundantly. Let there be miracles now. What didn't happen, let it happen. We determine that these people's lives will never be the same again. All those who are putting their trust in you, we determine the impossible will become possible in their lives. All those whose requests are here, we bless them now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now we're going to bless the water here. Let's consecrate the water here, pastors. We're going to use this water, we're going to place it actually in your bottle this coming Sunday from 9.30 to 10 a.m. in all the universal churches. Let's now consecrate the water, Pastor Daniel, Pastor Oliver here. Let's go. Let's do it now. My Lord and my God, we present to you this yes. water, Father. And we determine Jesus. that when your people receive a drop in their bottle of water this coming Sunday, Lord, yes. the impossible is going to happen in their lives. Miracles will occur, my God, in their health, in their families. We bless it here, my Lord, before your greatness. We know that you are a great yes. God and you are going to do great things in the life of your people in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, my Lord, Jesus. we determine. Let your power be yes. in this water, my Lord. Let your people, Jesus. my Father, when they drink this water, they will receive a miracle in their life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This is it this coming Sunday. Don't forget from 9.30 to 10 a.m. You're going to receive a drop from this water we have just blessed here. And believe the impossible will become possible in your life. And let's invite people who are suffering as well. Let's share with those who are right now where you used to be. Many of you already have your testimony. Give them a chance. And let's make this Sunday a great day of miracles in our lives. See you in Finsbury Park or in one of our branches. God bless you. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. This coming Sunday is going to be powerful, Pastor Daniel. Yes, Bishop. I am sure those who come determined that this is what will make the whole difference. If people come this Sunday hoping for the best, nothing is going to happen. They have to leave their house saying, this is going to be my day of power. I will see the signature of God in my life, in my health, finances, love life. I will achieve results I didn't achieve. This is what will make this Sunday powerful, is the preparation, is the determination yes. beforehand, before entering the sanctuary, before leaving our homes. We have to leave saying, I will not leave that place in the same way. I'm going there one way 
and I'm not going to come out in the same way. I recall one of the ladies on on Sunday mentioned yeah. exactly this. She said, "Oh yes, she did, uh, isn't it?" Yeah, she said, I, "I've been suffering with this pain for so mm. many years, but today, I came determined yeah. to be healed, to leave the church, you know, free from this pain." And this is what makes the difference. We have to already come to the church with that expectation. That's right. Not coming just to come. I'm going to take part of the prayer. <laughs> ah, it's the day of the impossible. No. We have to already leave our home with victory yeah. in our minds to have an experience with God. That's what makes the, the difference, Bishop. Exactly. So once again, this Sunday, 27th, we're going to be here together using our faith, determined that the impossible will become possible, especially at 10 a.m. And of course, you cannot make it at 10 a.m. We have our service at 7.30 in the morning as well. And this Sunday, Pastor Daniel, we're going to be blessing the children. Yes. Right? Let them know about... This, this Sunday that will not just be about determining that problems will become testimonies. We are going to be blessing children and we are going to determine that they are going to become children of God because some of them are not children of God yet. Huh? That's right, Bishop. And the, the parents, they have this authority mm -hmm. given, to, given to them by God to bless their children. So in this opportunity, parents have to encourage yes. their children to be here, whether they're- From all ages. All really, ages, Bishop. Yeah. Whether they're babies, whether they're already adults, whether they're already parents themselves. Yes. You will encourage your children to be here with you because you're in the moment, in the given moment of the, of the service. Yes. When, when, as Bishop, you are telling yeah. us parents, Bless your children. So in that moment, you use the authority to yeah. bless those your children that will be there present. It's preferably that, that they be there with you exactly. on Sunday. Yeah. But even those bishops that have children far away, yeah. they can always, of course, in that moment, intercede for children for that sure. are living in different countries. But those who are here in the United Kingdom, it's important for them to be with us there in the sanctuary. Yes, definitely. Right? And don't forget to bring your water, as we said, and also a loaf of bread. We're going to be blessing the bread, so you can share with your family as well. This Sunday is going to be a great blessing. It's going to yes. be the last Sunday of the month. That's right. But the strongest, the yeah. last Sunday of the three Sundays, but the strongest. We are determining Jesus' name, and you who are agreeing with us, for sure, you're going to see great results in your life. We're going to go for our last break now in preparation for the seeking of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we're going to invest in our communion with God straight after this break. And during this break, I want you to analyze yourself, check your heart. If you have fallen into temptation, you were feeling down, sad, weak, distant from God. Now is the moment for you to say, Lord, have mercy on me. Now is the moment for you to abandon what separates you from God. Yes. God is merciful. I'm going to show you here a passage straight after this break. You can even open your Bibles there. Leave it open in Micah chapter 7. Yes, maybe you have never read this book, but there is something very, very important I want to mention before we seek the Holy Spirit. And you can be sure today you're going to have an experience with God. We'll be right back. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. In the hustle and bustle of day-to-day -day life, our minds are occupied with many, many things. We think of how to solve this and that, go here or there, and do that or the other. But fortunately for us, we don't ever have to worry about breathing. Can you imagine if we did? When you breathe, you transport oxygen to the body's cells to keep them working and to clear your system of the CO2 that this work generates. In short, breathing keeps you alive. You cannot inhale and exhale for a few hours, then stop altogether, hoping that it will be enough to sustain you for 24 hours. That's crazy. Breathing must be continuous. In fact, it's so part of you that it's second nature. Prayer is much like breathing. Or at least it should be. When you pray, you empower your spiritual body and clear yourself of all negativity. That's why it needs to be continuous. Just like breathing, we ought to pray without ceasing. 
This is what keeps our faith and communion with God alive. Many people faint along the way because they don't develop this habit. Pray like you breathe, ceaselessly, continuously, always. Then he spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray and not lose heart. Luke 18, 1. Pray without ceasing. Be inspired on Liberty Radio. Welcome back. And before we seek the Holy Spirit here together, as I was mentioning before the break, for you to analyze your heart, have a look at the way you are living your life, to see if there is anything there that is separating you from God, in case you fell into temptation, in case you, you sinned against God. Maybe your conscience is now killing you. That's what they say, Pastor Dan, isn't it? Yes. Is they're really torturing you. Maybe thoughts like these are there saying, what have you done? Now there is no more hope. There is no more solution for you. You spoiled everything. Now it's finished. Just give up. Give up on this idea of salvation. You don't belong to, to that. You know, imagine to this group of people. You belong to the world. You are from the world. Reject it. Look what is written in Micah chapter 7. Look how strong. And listen, it was not a coincidence you connect, especially now. The Holy Spirit made you connect. All right. I don't know if you are believing in this or not. I know some people, they start saying, oh my goodness, I don't believe in this. I'm talking to those who are having ears to hear right now. God is speaking to you. He wants to help you. He cares for you. He wants to give you a new opportunity. He wants to forgive your sins, but for this to happen, you need to humble yourself and do your part. Look what is written. Take this word. I don't know what words you have been listening to, but now you're going to hear the voice of God from here. Pay close attention. Micah 7, verse 18. Micah. I've never read this, this book or a passage from this book in my life. Yes, go to the Old Testament. I can even show yes. you here what is the one next to it. It's Amos. Before Amos, we have Daniel. For sure, Daniel, you know. Keep going to your right there if you're on Daniel. And if you're after Micah, it's Haggai and Malachi. If you can do it, go to the last book of the Old Testament and go to your left, Micah chapter 7. Yes, don't underestimate what the contents of these books that, you know, the name, yes. the names are not unusual, as, isn't right. it? They're not as popular as yes. other books, but they have, you know, hidden well, treasures Daniel, in them, Bishop. If they are here, they are powerful. They are powerful. They are special. Definitely. Right? Let's go. Micah 7. Who is a God like you? 18, verse 18. Pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. He does not retain his anger forever. Stronger. Eh? Yes. Because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us. What a word for this person hmm. who turned his back on God, who fell into temptation. Take this word. He will have compassion on you, on us, and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins, look at this, Pastor Daniel, into the depth of the sea. You will give truth to Jacob and mercy to Abraham, which you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. And I believe, Pastor, then it's good to show them the footnotes here, isn't oh, yes. it? Yes. If you have the Bishop's Bible there, go to the footnotes. And once again, you can acquire this Bible in our bookshops or in any UCKG near you, all right? Afterwards, you can find out more about it with 
the website we're going to be putting up after the program. You can go there online or you can speak to anyone there in any church, any branch. Had Israel heeded the voice of God, the nation would never have been defeated, Pastor Danny, look at that, by enemies and taken into captivity. Its children would never have been killed and its cities destroyed. But the Lord did not forget his covenant. Look at this. Yes. He kept his promise. Yes. He was a God of his word, Pastor yes. Daniel. With Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So he preserved his people. The Most High takes no pleasure in anyone's evil. Not at all. Nor in condemning them to hell. Some people say, well, what kind of loving and caring God sends people to hell? Excuse me. Let me correct it. He is a loving and caring God. And this is so true that he left here the book of Revelation. Ready for all those who are here, whoever, to have access to the future truth. So they would not, so they may not be cast into hell. Yes. Because he loves us, Pastor Daniel. Yes, for sure. He told us there is hell. Mm -hmm. If you do this, you go there. And he even says, don't do this. Do this in instead. As the Bible says, before us is always life and death. Blessings and curses. And God wants us to choose life. Blessings. He does not cast people into hell. Listen carefully. God does not cast people in hell. Hell was not created for human souls. Hell should be the final destination of Satan, the demons, the Antichrist, the false prophets. Yes, even whatever it is in connection with this group. Not human souls, not human beings, Pastor Daniel. No. But the problem is, if human beings choose to follow this group, there is nothing God can do. They are making their choices. You can change the situation. You can reverse your situation right now. As we are reading here, let me continue. He preserved his people the most high, takes no pleasure in anyone's evil. Again, nor in condemning them to hell. God doesn't want anybody to go to hell. He doesn't want you to go to hell. That's why he's using us here to speak to you. What God desires, the most, look at this, the most is for sinners to repent sincerely and turn to Him. It is a privilege to have the Eternal One as our Lord and experience His faithfulness and goodness. For these virtues will be upon those who are faithful to Him forever. To make a covenant with the Almighty God is to guarantee our salvation. And now, Pastor Daniel, before we seek God, people are having an opportunity. You are having an opportunity of repenting from your sins, abandoning your old ways, going back, getting back on track if you distance yourself, and again, experiencing God. No matter if you fell into temptation, I'm not saying that that's acceptable it is unacceptable but if you are listening to my voice you have a chance you can change the destination of your soul yes you were going astray you were going to hell but god is using this moment to rescue you all you have to do now is to confess your sins get rid of separate you from god and he will forgive you and more he is going to fill you with his spirit. He's going to give you a new life. Let's talk to God, Pastor Daniel. Yes, Bishop. Intercede for them. Yes, sir. For those who are now in tears, those who are now saying, oh my goodness, what have I done? But they are also saying, thank God I'm having another chance. Grab it. Don't let it depart. Don't let it go, you know, slip through your fingers. Grab it with all of your strength. Start afresh. Because... I'm sure in a couple of days, months, even by the end of the, this year, when you look back, you're going to say, 
Thank God I made the right choice. Let's dim the lights here. Let's now prepare ourselves to talk to God and seek Him together. Pastor Daniel, let's pray for all those who are now humbling themselves, those God is giving them a second chance. My Lord and God, we are here before your presence. Yes, Father. And I know you are a merciful God, Lord. As we hear, we see in your word, and you don't have the pleasure, Lord, to see anyone being condemned. It's not your pleasure to see anyone losing themselves, going astray. You are merciful, my God, which means that you you give a chance to the one who is humble enough to ask, the one that's humble enough to recognize their mistake. And there are people now, Lord, recognizing their mistake. Maybe they thought even you didn't want them, that you would reject them, that there's no more hope for them. But you are here, my God, through this program, telling them again that they have a chance, that should they want to repent, Lord, you are with your hands stretched out to them. So help this person now, my God, that this moment would be different from any other because right now they're hearing your voice and they're making a decision, Lord Jesus, to turn to you, to stop living the way they were living, to finally, Lord, abandon the old life, abandon the life of sin, to leave it all behind, Lord Jesus. Yes, they are not they are not giving my Lord turn, turning away their ears from your voice. No, they're hearing you now and they're grabbing on to this opportunity. So in Jesus name right now, Lord, may you set them free from this guilt that they had my God the doubts that they had the sinful life they've been living in this moment on Lord is the turning point this is the turning point right now so in Jesus name receive the strength for you to be able to leave this life you were living and receive God's mercy once again him stretching his hands to you in Jesus name he forgives your sins you who are repentant be cleansed be washed he washes away all your transgressions. He's casting your, your transgressions, your iniquities into the depths of the sea as it's written here. Now lift up your face. Stand up where you are if you're on your knees. Lift up your hands. Receive salvation. Your names now are written in the book of life. Don't look back. Don't look at your left or right. Don't worry about what is happening around you. Just believe. You have been saved, rescued. And now, wherever you are, wherever you are, be filled with the Spirit of God. Never again you're going to be the same person. Start afresh, a new life. All of you who have been serving God, be renewed and revived right now. Be filled with His power. And there where you are, you can have your moment with God. Now you can worship Him, praise Him. You can express what is inside of you. It's you and Him. Go ahead. Speak to God there. blesses you with the greatest blessing his presence his spirit comes upon all you, all of you be empowered he lifts you up whoever you are listening to us god is there with you listen to his voice now for a few moments we're going to remain silent here but the holy spirit there will manifest himself in your life. Yes, God will speak to you there. Don't say anything now, please.
Yes, His voice calms the storm in you, convinces you, gives you the assurance that there is nothing to fear, to worry. Yes, He revives you. As you hear His voice, one word there coming from Him speaks louder than a thousand words you have heard from people. Ah, right now He speaks to you deep down inside of you. Hold on to His voice, to His words. Just like He spoke to Abraham once, more than once actually, but the first time He did Go out of your country, leave your father's house. Ah, when Abraham heard that voice, never again his life was the same. And as you hear the voice of God now, as he guides you, directs you now, as he shows you what you have to start doing from now on, the direction you have to take, as you obey as Abraham did, the voice of God, your life should never be the same again. Thank you, Father. Protect and guard your people. And as you were with Abraham, be with your servants. Fulfill your promise in their lives. Glorify your name in them and through them. In Jesus' name, amen. You are blessed. We're going to be back here once again tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow, don't forget, we're going to be blessing your family. Make sure you have the photos of your family members there. And also in church, especially 8 o'clock in the evening, we're going to have the love therapy. You're more than welcome to come with your spouse. Those who are married and those who are single, you can join us, especially here in Finsbury Park, our headquarters. If you want to speak to anybody now, our helpline is there. Have a look. Our WhatsApp number is our helpline number, as you can see. Pastor Daniel. The number, please. Yes, 020-7686-6000 is both the number of our helpline and our number for WhatsApp. Great. You can speak to us now. There are pastors available to chat, to pray for you, to give you a word of advice, direction. Here we are, ready to fight your fight. You are not alone. So have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. And I leave you now with the prayer from the other group of pastors who went to the mount to present your request, determining that the impossible will become possible. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. We are in the second week of the impossible determining God's signature in your life. We have here your prayer requests. And it was in a place like this, in a mount, that Jesus and some of his disciples went on to pray. And during this prayer, the Bible says that the face of Jesus, his body was shining like the sun. The disciples saw his glory. The same thing we are going to determine in your life as we pray that his light, that this miracle of transformation will happen in your life as well. Close your eyes, Pastor Mike, please. Yes, my Lord, as we have come up to meet with you, we believe, therefore your power must come down. And Lord, we declare that your power must touch, work in the lives of those who have been sick, spiritually oppressed, those who medications, treatments, even operations have not solved the problem. Those, my Lord, that they could not find a diagnosis for because what has been affecting them was spiritual. It was an oppression of some sort. But we declare their life is free, that you are making the impossible to become possible and your power is working now in the name of Jesus Christ in their lives. Yes, Father, by faith we determine, my Lord, the financial blessings upon all the people who have an impossible case in their lives, my Father. There are people with, my Lord, have problems, my Father, in their finances, they are in debt. My Lord, people who are unemployed, people who want to open their own business, but until now, nothing has happened. We want, my Lord, the transformation right now. Change the situation of this person. Everything that they are determined here in their prayer request, my Lord, will come to pass in their lives. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. And my Father, in the same faith, we pray for their family members.
Maybe this person has my father, a husband, a daughter, a son who has addictions, who has another kind of problem. We are here to say, receive now a miracle in your family, in your marriage. Receive now God's signature in your house, in Jesus' name. Be transformed. Receive God's impossible, God's signature in your life. You will see the glory of God, just like the disciples saw the glory of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you believe, say Amen. Amen. You are blessed. The impossible is yours. Already happened in your life. God's signature is in you, in your life, in Jesus' name. Friends, don't miss this next Sunday, the third and the last Sunday of the impossible. See you next time. God bless. I am weary from the waves Crashing over every day God of mercy, please come rescue me I am longing for your voice Gentle whisper in the noise Father, tell me everything so right Your power and your presence Break strongholds, King of Heaven When you speak Mountains move, I believe there will be breakthrough. You alone can take my scars, piece by piece restore my heart. Take what's broken, make it cool again. In your power and your presence, break strongholds, King of Heaven. When you speak, mountains move. Break the walls apart, open the heavens, Almighty God you are, Overcomer, Defender of my heart. And by your power, the oceans open wide, your fire falls down, Heaven and earth collide, King Jesus, forever by my side. Your power and your presence break strongholds, King of heaven, when you speak, mountains move. I believe there will be breakthrough Your power and your presence Break strongholds, King of Heaven When you speak, mountains move I believe there will be breakthrough there will Liberty Radio.